Right. As, as layer twos, they all have some kind of trade-offs because if, if it were possible to do trustless scaling on the base layer, then it would just be included in Bitcoin itself. Uh, so the, the trade-offs that they make, Lightning is, is a, a peer-to-peer network on top of the base layer, and these parties create channels amongst each other, which can have multiple transactions off-chain before they resettle onto the chain. Liquid works slightly differently, where it's a it's a side chain, but it's pegged to the Bitcoin main chain, verifiably one to one. Where Liquid Bitcoin, held by the Federation, is is cryptographically proven to be one to one of the Liquid Bitcoin that's on the network. And then Fediment also works as a federation, but it can be a community federation of custodians, and it works with with Xiaomi and eCash. Which, which also has its own trade-offs. So what do you think are the big trade-offs specifically for Liquid? I would say that with Liquid, you know, you, you are trading some trust and decentralization for the speed of transactions and having low fees. So uh, you, you have slightly better security than Lightning because uh, your, your keys can still remain offline in a, in a, a hardware signer like the Blockstream Jade. Um, Whereas with, with Lightning, the keys need to be online to sign those channel updates. Uh, Light, Lightning is obviously a bit faster, um, whereas Liquid has one minute block times. And they're both fairly private. Liquid also has confidential transactions. Security is a, is a must. You're dealing with money. And so any hacks and, and uh, funds going lost or missing is just unacceptable. And so your choices really are between decentralization and scalability. And the, the Bitcoin base layer obviously prioritizes decentralization for its censorship resistance and you know to make sure that there's no centralized control of the protocol whereas um, liquid trades some of that decentralization for scalability in terms of lower fees and faster transactions and lightning is, is still more decentralized but trades some a little bit of the security for more scalability uh, with all the high fees in the past year, we've seen quite an uptick in usage on Liquid. And uh, what I love using is Bolts Swap, uh, Bolts Exchange, and it's very easy, fast swaps between Lightning and Liquid. So I find it great to use Liquid as a middle ground between those things. If you're buying some Bitcoin on exchange and withdrawing with Lightning, hopefully, until Liquid gets implemented there, you, you can swap to Liquid when your channel is getting full manage your UTXOs on Liquid, swap to USDT if you need to, if you need to manage any volatility risk. When you need to spend again, you could always swap back into Lightning as you need to, or if your stack gets to a certain threshold, you can then peg out to the Bitcoin main chain for your cold storage.